this little baby is going to make the clock sing signal stronger on my Falcon because what happens is when you run programs that use the DSP generally I get a lot of uh, distortion and clicks and pops and that kind of thing going on. I actually have to remove these three SMD resistors and I've never done this before. I, I'm fairly much a novice when it comes to these things. Like I, I've been soldering for years and stuff, but nothing, nothing like this. I'll just yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Press it a few times, and that's working. Oh, that a bit of foxy. Yeah, that seemed good. All right, so that'd be a bit too much, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. Like that, like that, and slide off. Now where did I put my flux? Let's go for number two. Get my fluxy, fluxy, wuxy. On there. Yeah, look. Let's get my solder on the tip. And a pretty decent amount again. And let's go. Melty, 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 melty. Oh. Not quite as clean, but yeah, that worked again. Get my fluxy wuxy and uh, nice and neat. All right, ready. Let's go. And now I've done what Chris suggests, which I have um, soldered the uh, connector pins onto the bottom. To the bottom of the PCB, a bit of thick solder on each side, but yeah, they're they're on there. <laughs> and one thing that he did recommend is to actually take the IC out of of this to actually solder. But I've just got a feeling that it's going to be easier for me by leaving the IC in, and I'm going to hold it with blue tack. Onto there, which is exactly where it needs to be, and then this side. Just get this blue tack. Up there, there. You can see the pin on the top of uh, that very end pin. I think that's pin ten. I'll just whack some solder on there. See, a yeah, blob of solder attached. Now I just need to do the other side. Pretty good size blob. And let's just get, get it in there. And it should get it nice and hot. we need to do now is solder from section 1 here to R22 on the top pad. Put a little bit of flux on, on the pad and uh, there you go, just like that, beautiful. Blob on here. Beautiful. And now I will solder the end of that, just like that. My hooks on to number three. Should be nice. 
perfect. What I want to do is just move that slightly in that direction. Just make sure I've got enough clearance. Now I just line up the bottom part with the pad. Absolutely perfect. All right, and then really, I just need to turn it on and see if it works. The job is done. Let's have a look. Look at that, beautiful. And connect it onto the motherboard. Really nicely. Here we go. Let's look at the screen. Like Chris said, it does take a little bit longer for the monitor to come on, but it does, thankfully. And bam! Screen. I'll just skip the memory test. Memory test ordered. And it should boot up. It takes a little bit longer because of the uh, missing hard drive. Nice, beautiful. And I assume that means it's working. And I've done a good job. Pat myself on the back with my blue tech skills. And thank you, Chris at Exos. Exos.co.uk forward slash Atari for all of the best Atari mods. Falcon clock patch. If I can install it, then I think um, anybody with a steady hand can.